Hey guys, this is Bridgette with San Diego Seed Company, and today I'm gonna to talk about how you can trellis your tomatoes with a particular system called the Florida Weave. I'm actually gonna rename it to the Cali Weave because I'll remember it that way. But anyways, before I get into all those details, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you're notified anytime we put out a video. Okay, so we've got this uh, nice long row of some really cool dwarf tomatoes. Behind it, we have some really beautiful tomatoes that are on the low and lean system. And I wanna show you the uh, uh, Florida weave, or as I'm going to rename it, the Cali weave method, which is a very common way to trellis up your tomatoes because it is relatively low labor. It is relatively inexpensive comparatively to other methods. And it works pretty darn good. There are some um, things that I don't really like about it, but I'm gonna get into all of that. So. We've got all these tomatoes here. They're, they are trellised up. Now these are dwarf tomatoes, so they're naturally going to grow a lot smaller than full scale, large heirloom, viney, indeterminate tomatoes. But I wanna show you because we've got a nice little scene here where you can actually see what the weave process is. So basically you've got a stake that is uh, holding up each individual tomato. And I've got stakes on every single tomato. So there's about 40 tomatoes down this row. And then I use a twine that is specific for, for this method. It is called, you guessed it, tomato twine. <laughs> it's just a UV resistant twine that is really gonna hold up in the sun. It's not gonna break, up, break apart and it's not gonna um, fray and, and get all over the garden. If you use a really cheap plastic twine, what will happen is it'll break apart and then you'll just be spreading microplastics all over your garden, which I won't even go on my rant about plastics and farming, but this is one way in which you can have a quality product that's gonna hold together in all of the sunlight. It's gonna be out here all season. You want it to, you don't want it to break. Jute or regular twine is not gonna hold up, especially if you have large tomatoes and the vines are gonna get really heavy. So the way that the system works is you do, it does take a lot of stakes. So every plant gets a stake. You do have a leader stake at the beginning. This is important and this stake should be very deeply driven into the ground so that it really holds tight because you don't want, if this one starts leaning, the whole system kind of starts to go. And simply enough, you are going to weave it around the plant. So the reason why this is commonly used on, um, in, in tomato patches where they're growing a lot more tomatoes is because it's a way in which you can economically um, hold up tomato plants versus going in and individually tying each, each plant. So it's weaved around every single post and basically all you're doing is you're trying to keep the plant up off the ground. You can actually see here that we've missed some. Uh, this happens. But what's nice is you can go in and you can just kind of get them up off the ground. You can use the string that's already there. Now, some pros of this system, as I mentioned, relatively inexpensive, not that hard to do, doesn't take any specialized equipment. The cons of this system is it's not really very neat. It's not very tidy. Um, with really precious tomato varieties. I don't like to use this because you're really rough with them and you're just, you're, you're, you're really tying them and kind of smashing them together. It also doesn't allow for a lot of pruning. So unless you're really staying on top of it and you only have like five or six plants, if you got 30 plants and you're doing the system, you're not likely to go in there and be pruning every single stock because it's, it's just simply too difficult. So, that's some of the downfalls of it. Um, this system works really well with tomatoes that are bushy. Uh, it's a really great way to tie up smaller patio plants. Dwarf plants work really good on this system. Uh, compact or micro tomatoes also work really good. You can imagine a really big, long, viney heirloom tomato like black crim this is not going to be an ideal system for it. So this is the, the Florida weave, or as I'm going to rename it, the Cali weave. And it is just one of the many different trellising systems that we use here on our farm.